गुड इवनिंग टू एवरीबॉडी द वेलकम टू द टुडे क्लास ऑफ द जेसी जे 2022 मेन एग्जामिनेशन एंड यस्टरडे दैट आई वाज ट्रैवल दैट्स व्हाई आई कुड नॉट टेक माय क्लास एंड टुडे द क्लास वुड बी रिज्यूम्ड एंड द कंटिन्यूएशन इज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वुमेन फॉर द डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस दैट वी डिस्कस्ड एंड एनीवन कैन अनम्यूट एंड रीड दैट व्हाट आई पोस्टेड ऑन द स्क्रीन सो दैट आई कुड नो दैट यू आर विद मी एंड आई एम विद यू एंड बोथ आर ट्रैवलिंग द सेम आर सेलिंग द सेम बोट टू रीच द डेस्टिनेशन Yes, now you could hear it because somebody is there in my house that they stopped the net and the power is off. That's why that you could not hear it. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, that's why I say the why the, it is not uh, giving the answer. Then I found that uh, something is missing over there. Yes. Uh, so in my yesterday class, that continuation would be there of the today's uh, that is a uh, production of human for the domestic violence, uh, and uh, that is the thing which I posted over there that I asked them to read it over there, but uh, you could not hear my sound. There is a reason that you could not give the reply to my question, but I am sure that now you can make it out. You are hearing me. And without so, wasting the time, that uh, let me go because in the last class that I was dealing about the custody order, and where sir, the custody order seems, the magistrate may also grant the custody of a child or children yes, to the aggrieved person or the person making an application on her behalf, and uh, he may also specify the visitation arrangement as well. In case he feels the visitations by the respondent would be the harmful to the child, suppose the respondent come and he may make the injury or he can solve it. And solace the child not to stay with the mother, and if such a thing would be there, uh, then the magistrate may even they refuse to allow such a visitation of uh, the assailant. Uh, to the... Anyone Hello. wants to say anything? Because I could hear the sound. Yes, yes, yes. That's me only. Now we can hear me. Yes, you can uh, ask anything. Okay. The other day I was not there. I was I was in the hospital, so I could not hear. The conversation of the class. Okay, now uh, while starting, you said domestic violence against women. You said, correct? Yeah. It is not domestic violence against women. It's domestic violence against the aggrieved person, not women. Is it the act says in the same way? Yes, yes. The act section two a says it's aggrieved woman, not ag earlier it was aggrieved woman. Now it is aggrieved person. The Supreme Court has struck down that word. Okay. Now and, it is uh, given the husband. I uh, one minute. I'll tell you which case law the Supreme Court has said. Uh, in one minute, one second. Rajasthan High Court. No. Okay. Let me presume it. It is not the woman against, uh, but uh, the aggrieved. Uh, it's the Supreme Court. Uh, in Hiral P. Harsora versus Kusum Narottam Das versus Harsora, two thousand sixteen. Where the Supreme Court struck down the provision uh, portion of Section Two A on the grounds that yeah, you you told uh, me the case law. What is the name of the case law? Hiral P. Harsora. Repeat. H I R H I R A L A L P P H A R S O R A. Means I repeat H A H O R H H I H I R A L. Already told you Hiral P H A R E L P Hiral P next. Harsora H H H O R A Harsora versus Kusum Narottam Das Harsora. Kusum Narottam Das Harsora. Harsora. I'll tell you. I have the judgment copy with me. Sir, Ramnad Garu, please can you present the screen? No. Is the judgment no, copy if it is available on the in the net also? If it is so that you just you pass on the in the group or the uh, uh, link. See, yeah, here will be Harosa and another versus Kusum. This uh -huh. is the case law where our learned friend has said that uh, the. I'll read. The, I'll read that portion. I'll read that portion. Yeah, where that the is the. The honorable Supreme Court has struck down a portion of Section Two A. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. That it is violates Article Fourteen. Yeah, it is there. I will read. I will read that point. Nothing happened over the three years till the same due of the mother, the daughter filed the two separate complaint against the same respondent in October two thousand ten, and an application was moved before the Land Metropolitan Magistrate for the discharge of the respondent number two and two to four, stating that the complaint was made under the Section Two. Class A with the Section Two, Class Q of the 2005 Act, it can be made against an adult male person, and the three respondent not being adult male persons were therefore required to discharge. So the Metropolitan Magistrate passed an order dated 3 1 2012, in which the damages was refused. In a written petition filed against the said order 15 2 2012, the Bombay High Court, on a literal construction of the 2005 Act, discharged a forced three respondent from the complaint. We have been informed that this order was uh, since attained finally. But anyway, that let me check it because. Uh, 
and uh, the link uh, link you could see what link mother google mother is there that you can say no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll i'll read i'll read that portion only i will not take much of a time okay read where the supreme court has struck down the portion of section 2a on the ground that it is violation of article 14 of the constitution of india and the phrase adult may is appearing section 2q stood deleted and it is a subsection which deleted expression adult may would appear in any person with a male or female aggrieved or alleging violation of the provisions of the act could invoke the provision under the act it's a male or female anyone can come under domestic violence act okay he got so, so because now, the general class also uh, the general class act also say if you say women it is include men also uh but uh, it should be clearly that is there but as far as this violence uh, sec, domestic violence act it is not only for women it is male and even this even if have two foreigners who are married in general outside, also the violations could be again against any spouse yes 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 that's in the loopholes it is said because it is especially it is made the act is made for the protection of the women then what about the man that means it is against after the section 14 and section 21 after females after the ladies article not section act, sir okay after ladies misusing this act the supreme court yeah it is a loopholes i will read it in the loopholes of this act is is misused by the cunning women a naughty women to harass the husbands okay yeah. let me continue it please compensation orders the magistrate may also pass an order directing the respondent to pay the compensation to the aggrieved person for the injuries and the mental torture and emotional distress caused to her because of the domestic violence because they especially made caused to her that means it shows it is a woman so in the case of the magistrate feels it is necessary that it is uh, and it is satisfied that the respondent was caused domestic violence and may continue to do so in the future he may also pass a interim ex parte order in case that it is a continuity would be there then he, they will make a interim order and they will even pass a ex parte order also for what for the compensation is it clear to whom to whom the compensation a grieved person by whom a silent is it clear say yes is it clear are you hearing me yes yes i am hearing you but you are say yes sir. otherwise i don't know i think that i am speaking to the wall there are other three participants they don't even open the mouth what do you want me to i do? don't know whether they went for the lunch or they are sleeping or they are just relaxing ah anyway that we made the log on and sir will definitely will send the youtube but they did not know when you participated you learn it <laughs> but uh, anyway that what can i do huh? because a person who participates in the discussion direct impact would be there the impression would be left on the brain on the mind merely listening they learn a little but when the participation is there they will learn it and they need not to again read it that is the secret of it suppose if everybody is know that secret if you do the wrong thing and you will be punished if you do the good thing you will be you will be rewarded and nobody would commit anything even there is no necessity of the police department okay let us come to the step number 7 steps to take in case of the breach of the order given so if the order is given by the court and uh, if the any person make a breach what are the steps should be taken in case the respondent breaches the production under the given by the magistrate he shall be liable under this act and here say he shall be liable of course he here sense generally assailant but assailant means he is a man so he said he shall be liable under this act and he shall be liable with dash first bullet punishment up to a term extending to one year there is a corporeal punishment and the fine it is the maximum of the 20000 rupees or even the both also am i right Say yes, participants. Yes, yes, participants. but just, just maybe. I would like to hear the other participants. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Vaksha, are you present? Vaksha, are you present? Say yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, you read this one. I want to meet you, Alat. Unmute and read. 
duty of the court while dealing with cases under the act in the case of krishna bhattacha bhattacharji versus bhattacharji versus versus Sa- sarathi choudhary and sarita choudhary sarathi choudhary okay sarathi, yeah, sarathi choudhary and another and another the court laid down some guidelines that all courts must follow while dealing with a case under this act yes that much is enough okay these are first bullet the court must ma- give the decision keeping in mind that the helpless aggrieved person has approached the court in compelling circumstances what are the circumstances where the aggrieved person approached to the court means tap the door of the court second bullet you should also be ensured that the court scrutinizes the facts from all angles it must take efforts to ensure whether the plea advanced by the respondent to nullify the grievances of the aggrieved person is legally and factually correct or not so the court will see whatever the order would they passed and whether such a nullity would be there or genuineness would be there and how it could be done and these uh, these aspect uh, the court will observe it and if the aggrieved party made a wrong facts wrong statements and in all angles then they will dismiss the case i don't know whether uh, venunad if a wrong allegation was made by the aggrieved party and it is not genuine could uh, she will be punished or the court so much to take an action against her yes she can be punished the, and if the court finds it irrational uh, the court can so much to take action against the lady okay okay even i i heard that when the pl is filed unnecessarily and yes, yes. without any ground example i'll tell you about this 5g case which is of juhi chawla okay film actress where she filed a case in supreme court stating that 5g is not good for animals birds human beings etc 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 okay. the supreme court has fined her 20 lakh rupees uh, juhi chawla yes juhi chawla the same later actress. on Yes, yes. Later on, she appealed. She requested beg everything. Then the fine came down to five lakh something. My goodness! So frivolous uh, cases we should not supposed to even even on not only on the complainant, even on the person advocate who is arguing also the court will impose fine on such person for taking such irrational cases. So that the the, the value the valuable time of the court will be saved. Is, yes, many many uh, many advocates in Bombay have been fined one lakh fifty thousand or two lakhs like that. Advocates. Okay, okay, okay. But uh, I don't think that they, do they suspend the practice? No, no, no. They don't suspend the practice. They they have to pay fine within that certain period of time. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, for the frivolous uh, cases filed in the court. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, next bullet is the court of law must uphold the truth and aim at uh, delivering the proper justice. Of course, is the fountain of justice. They try to make it at uh, satya me jayate. Is it correct? Yes, yes, yes. Where it is written? Under the emblem. Indian emblem of the four lions below. Yes. Okay. Now, and last point is, participants are you sleeping? sir before i could say no uh, venunadi is giving the answer sir you should come forward unmute and give the answer immediately before he gives the answer sir we are not that much expert in the mute and unmute sir you will become a, a expert when you go on doing it okay the the last thing? question for bullet is before throwing a petition at the threshold on the ground of the maintainability the court must see that the aggrieved person is not faced with the situation of non adjudication when uh, not could you explain this point mai samjhe bhi aap mere se puchhenge point bol ke okay before throwing a petition at the threshold on the grounds of the maintainability which means the court says that after deciding and hearing both the parties okay. and it need be in the favor of the male or a female okay and the, what the court says is if we just cannot throw the petition okay uh, to the dustbin okay the maintainability of the petition mm mm-hmm. the court must see the aggrieved person is not faced matlab jo aggrieved person hai he should not face 
अगेन गोइंग फॉर नॉन एजुकेशन और गोइंग फॉर अगेन फॉर एजुकेशन मतलब एक बार उसको तकलीफ हुआ वापस उसको तकलीफ नहीं देना चाहिए ओके ओके दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इट दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट मींस ही शुड नॉट बी टॉर्चर्ड अगेन यस 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 ओके सो दैट इज वन वन मोर थिंग वन मोर थिंग या दिस दिस एक्ट आल्सो अप्लाइज टू फॉरेनर्स हु आर मैरिड इन फॉरेन कंट्रीज लेट इट बी नॉट ओनली इंडियंस Okay. Even to um, even to Americans who are married in America, but they have settled in India. Okay. That act all this act also applies to them also. That means it is not applicable only to the citizens. It applies to even foreigners. The act okay. clearly says a grieved person. Maybe a Indian, maybe a foreigner, or anyone. Okay. Anyone, anyone staying in India at that point of time he is said to be an aggrieved person, irrespective of his nationality. There are okay. many case laws in that. And uh, irrespective of the caste creed, also everything, everything. Okay, mean even a Muslim or a Christian or anyone, anyone can have a, a top this section. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Participants, are you hearing me? Say yes. One case. Yes, one sir. Case in, one case in Karnataka High Court. Okay. In the way, I'll tell you the case law. This is between Mohammad Zakir versus Srimati Shabana. Okay. Uh, in this case, the uh, Honorable High Court has made it very clearly that it is not only the wife, as per the Supreme Court guidelines, even the husband also is an aggrieved person. Yes, yes, yes. So in this case, it is clearly this is a Muslim. Both are Muslims. Yes, so yes, yes. Also applies to Muslims also. Yeah, because it is a, a it is not caste based one, based one. It is like IPC will be applicable to each yes, and everybody. Yes, IPC, IPC. And the same way, the Act also applicable to each and everybody. Uh, even though there is a woman what is there yes that word is struck down Two yeah that i told you know that uh, but uh, did did they make any changes to the act by no they are not the they are not made changes because what happens in this uh, this bare acts the people who publish yeah they don't read the judgments that's why they, they they put uh, but uh, the latest bare act they definitely should have to put the asterisk mark And no, the no, they keep on. There. This is deleted. This is removed. No, 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 no. They only keep on reprinting year wise. Twenty twenty two, reprint. Twenty twenty three, reprint. Without adding the any uh, yeah, yes, amendments yes, to yes. it. Yes, unless there's a major amendment, someone should tell them by amendment who I. Then they they change it. Okay, okay. So now the criticism that I, as I told you, no, the criticism of the act is the law is not free of criticism. People have criticized it on some of the following grounds. So number one, some people have criticized the law on this basis of being only civil instead of a both civil and criminal. Yes, yes. So that is like the four ninety eight A, capital A. No, four ninety eight capital A is is a criminal offence under IPC. Yes. But this uh, this act is only a civil law, not a criminal law. That means only for the compensation. Only for the compensation. The he case if it is violated over there, okay, imprisonment. Then it is imprisonment. But uh, this case can cannot go to the co police and say, "My husband, my wife, did this, did that, did that." Then that comes under 498A or other acts of the IPC. But when you are going under this act, you only have to go to the court. The the judge who is the competent to handle this case is they may clearly mention first class judicial may first class uh, judicial, judicial magistrate yes. or metropolitan magistrate. Yes, yes, yes. So metropolitan magistrate is equivalent to the first class judicial magistrate. Okay, why they use the word metropolitan magistrate? Why not? Uh, Because I mean, once you told me in the metropolitan cities they made it they will call the <laughs> metropolitan courts. Because how many metropolitan how courts. many metropolitan cities we have? Uh, I believe that as per my na participants, are you sleeping? No, sir. No, sir. Give the answer. Four. What are they? Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai. Is I, I believe Bangalore also comes under the metropolitan. Total six. Total six we have. Total six, and including Hyderabad. Yes, Delhi. If you if you count from top, Delhi, Chennai, One, Kolkata, three, Dubai, Ahmedabad, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in number Bangalore. six, sir, can you repeat? Madam, madam, we'll get on Google. 
search on google you'll get <laughs> <laughs> okay doesn't matter the one hyderabad two alabad three bangalore four calcutta five bombay six delhi sir not alabad ahmedabad gujarat ahmedabad okay 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 but the cases comes from alabad i could more no they come from but it is not a metropolitan Achha, it's not a metropolitan for metropolitan you should have certain uh, kind of population living in that you should have minimum there is a key equation there is a equation yes there is a equation for that okay okay so now it is clear participants yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. very good i appreciate i appreciate uh, when the answer comes the answer comes yes the chorus not only one voice should be heard okay what is meant by chorus <laughs> group of people speaking appreciate appreciate solo songs only one people yeah. okay one okay chorus songs also there okay. no, it is not uh, another one, it is, it is not one people it is one person people one person more one, than one yeah yeah one tone one tone yeah as per the act the authority responsible for the effective implementation of the act is a, a productive officer and he should be she should be very much competent enough and naturally we we discussed the uh, one of the qualification or the criteria for the production officer should be he should be working in a women and child development department and he is identified by the state government and such an officer is assigned the major role of assisting the court initiating the action on behalf of the aggrieved and looking after the services required by the victim like a medical help and uh, counseling legal aid etc who production officer however the people appointed under this act are people who are in the practice not working full time uh, most of them is uh, most of the time in fact this duty is given as the additional charge to those who are already in the government services means additional charge will be given to them to take care of as a, and act as a production officer these people are mostly not qualified to fit into this role so that would be the lacuna would be made because the additional charge would be there so they pay the less attention towards this uh, cases so another bullet last uh, but one bullet is many people have said that this law assumes men to be the sole perpetrator of domestic violence as our uh, sir venunath made it very much clear that it is not the only men even a woman also shrewd you are right yes 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 that is yes, why that is why that is why this act is gone into doldrums Yes, 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 yes. Thus, uh, by allowing only women to file a complaint about the domestic violence, uh, this law violates Article fourteen and Article fifteen of the Indian Constitution and the discrimination against the men. So that would be the gist of it. Uh, the, as per the Constitution article, also it is in contravention. The act is. Uh, and the last bullet is some people have also said that the definition of the domestic violence is too wide and allows uh, cunning women uh, to cause trouble to men for no reason whatsoever so it is nothing but even after the death of a woman also uh, that she will rule over the uh, aggrieved not aggrieved is a premier and you have one person have one person have one lady yeah domestic violence as alleged okay uh, sister in law brother in law okay. who are staying in us okay they have nothing to do with that in india acha acha even filed their name so the rajasthan high court has struck down the entire this thing okay okay this is nothing people are staying in us how can they harass you okay okay by by sending the messages by no, writing no, no, them no, no. like sending messages blank calls sending messages that is not harassment okay Harassment is what? Like, uh, they should be this thing, na? Nah? Only uh, you should also produce proof. Sir, if, the, if, if the internet emails are shown as a proof, sir, you tell me which which woman in US has time to get uh, in all these thing things in India? Only the woman who wants to take the revenge. <laughs> no, it is otherwise. Basically... Otherwise, nobody knows who is the neighbor. Yes, even in Bombay, we don't know who is the neighbor unless we see his face. Okay, okay, okay. But 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 everybody knows yes, sir. When you are in their complex, <laughs> yeah, they know me very well. <laughs> okay, now conclusion is the production of women uh, 
from the Domestic Violence Act 2005, which was implemented in October 2006, uh, is a very promising legislation that combines the civil remedies and they say criminal procedure also. Of course, criminal procedure to provide the effective remedies to the women who became a victim of a domestic violence. And uh, both the way, they will get the compensation through the criminal remedies as well as the civil remedies. The Act provides for the production officer uh, medical facilities, uh, free of cost orders, etc., which helps the aggrieved women in protecting themselves and their loved ones. Uh, including the maintenance also, the financial uh, orders, uh, the compensation to be paid. Even, even the husband also can claim maintenance from wife. Yeah, yeah. Provided the husband is a... Uh, Not working. And the wife is an engaged officer. Yeah. If the, if the husband should be an employee, he should be a casual labor. He should be unemployed. Unemployed, okay. And then, okay, can you say the casual labor come under the unemployed? He's working, no? He's working. Okay. Okay. Now, because the of definition is different. Yeah. Okay. Let us see. However, the act is not free from the certain problems, certain lacunas or gaps. And clearly, the implementation of the act needs to be made more concrete. And the Human Rights Watch was found that police often do not file a first information report that is called FIR and uh, is a stay that is the IE, that is the first step to initiate a police investigation, especially if the aggrieved person is from an economically or socially backward community. And most of the domestic violence, uh, sexual violence and the marital rape cases in India never go reported. The reason is participants. It is not like that. Whenever any domestic violence cases go to the police station, it is true, police don't write FIR, that is true. The reason is that they refer this matter to the protection officer for one month. Okay, okay. Based on okay. the investigation and his report on the counseling, then only the police come into picture. Means the FIR will be the. Yes, later on, later on. Okay, okay. And the first and foremost, the protection officer, it will go to the. Yes, yes, for, cons for cons uh, counseling to know the facts. Okay. That pe period is for one month. Okay, okay. Means each taluka, each district, there should each be a police, each police, Each police uh, station should have that. But that depends. A chota chota police station, where they don't have those all these facilities. So they refer to the bigger police station, which has more manpower. Okay, okay. So lack of trained counselors uh, who can help the domestic abuse victims and little access to legal aid also adds to the misery of these victims. So even the counselors, those who are... Uh, those who are uh, giving the suggestions to uh, for the wife and husband to make the unity and if such a woman is a divorcee what will happen in the telugu there is a saying there kanchane chenu vese kanche ke evaru kavali participant say in english say in english awesome, sir. I say one uh, proverb in Telugu. Sir, we did not hear, sir. I am not fluent in Telugu, so you have to Okay, okay, okay. No idea in English. <laughs> say in English. No idea, sir. Pass on. <laughs> you can be, repeat it. A lawmaker should not be a lawbreaker. Lawmaker. <laughs> in a similar terminology. Kanche means boundary. Chenu means the crop. If the boundary only eats the crop, who will protect the crop? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Good, good. I yes, sir. There is a translation also there in your main examination. Are you following me? Yes, sir. What is, the, what is that paper? Is it paper one, paper two, paper three? Three, sir. Three, sir. Okay, I appreciate, I appreciate it. At least know that it is. What is paper one? Civil law. Civil law, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. And yes, sir. paper two? Criminal law. Criminal law. Okay. Paper See, here it is. I have shown you the proof. In the first one, is civil law is there. 1 to 13. And the criminal law? 
ಪ್ರಮೋದ ಕ್ರಿಮಿನಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಯು ಯು ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ನೌ ಯು ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ನೈನ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ 22 sir why you are taking so much time sir i am calculating <laughs> so lack of trained counselors who can help the domestic abuse victims and ready access to the legal aid and uh, uh, legal aid can be given where not can the legal aid will be given to a victim who is murdered no 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 uh, to the victim of murdered uh, no the victim no. is murdered how can a, a legal person who murdered? murdered no 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 Why legal aid, legal aid can be given if he doesn't have a advocate represent him the court will ask him do you have an advocate if he says no then the court will appoint an advocate through the legal aid services in the murder case any case any case acha any case for, for example for example when during the bombay blast with okay. the bombay uh, saying who is that person kasab okay no indian lawyer was willing to represent his matter my goodness because yeah. of the de- death uh, threat because of tragedy happened in uh, mumbai no no advocate or in india no one was willing to represent so the government appointed one lawyer uh uh-huh. to represent him okay because uh, pakistan denied him so we, we indian government does not allow any other foreign national to represent him okay so indian advocates refused to represent his case so mm-hmm. the bombay high court has sent as appointed one person to represent his case but however he withdrew last minute stating a security threat jaan bachi to lakho paaye is it clear yes 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 sir so issue like these need to be resolved uh, solved to as an issue that women get the justice as they truly deserve so this is the one of the things and there are cases also like for instance you take ahmedwa ahmedabad municipal corporation versus nawab khan gulab khan a r 1997 supreme court 152 what is this 152 participants not veruna i think page number sir what is sc supreme, supreme court what is this ar all india reporter all india reporter okay now you this part this part you can clearly tell me in the legal terminology citation sir citation is ar 1997 sc 152 case law sir this is the name of the title of the case law or name of the case law or party's name and citation but but a researcher should always put it in italics the case law should be in italics with a small v and and citation should be in the footnote mm. is it clear yes, sir. sir last time maine question pucha tha maine hmm last time maine question pucha tha what is that which is a article which says that all the laws made prior to yeah yeah, yeah 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 and our and students no one answered know what they ate in the morning <laughs> yes anybody could give the answer to the veranath question which article says that a law which is passed in the british period will be as it is or in the same toto or with a slight different could be utilized now after the free india article 53 sir article 53 is it clear no 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 so the the, the thing which comes easy and goes easy so the assignment from tomorrow okay now let us see in this uh, ahmedabad municipal corporation what did happen the supreme court emphasized the, the fact that the right to life given in which article article 1 yes 21 sir good and included in its uh, ambit uh, the right to live with a human dignity and basing its opinion 
and a host of the cases and has been decided in favor of this proposition. The right to dignity would include the right against being subject to humiliation, humiliating the sexual acts. It would also include the right against being insulted. And these two facets of this right to life and find mention under the definition of the sexual abuse and emotional abuse respectively. A praiseworthy aspect of the legislation is the very con conception of the emotional abuse as a form of the domestic violence. The recognition of the sexual abuse of the wife by the husband as a form of violation to the person is creditable, especially as such sexual abuse is not recognized.